Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Cameron here and welcome back to another video on the channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you are, please be sure to smash that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy this content. I would appreciate it tremendously. And you know, I post uh, rebuilds every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So, you know, subscribe, keep up to date with that. It will help, it'll help me out a lot, it'll help out the channel. The support that I've gotten recently has been amazing. We managed to get to 60 subscribers quicker than I had imagined. So that's awesome as well, So I, and I can't thank you guys enough. Anyway, let's get into, the, into today's video. Today, we are rebuilding the Utah Jazz, uh, basically because they've been eliminated from the playoffs, and, you know, might as well rebuild them, to see if they can uh, contend again next season. So Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert are the two people players that I am 100% keeping. Everyone else in the team can go so I can free up cap space and sign a good free agent. So that's basically all I'm going to do. So I'm going to sim down to the draft lottery here. We don't have a lottery pick at all. So yeah, so we have the 23rd pick. That's all we've got. So staff signing. I'm good with Quinn Snyder as my uh, head coach because, you know, he, I like him. He's nice. Uh, assistant coach will need new and also a new, tr oh, sugar, a new trainer will need. So assistant coach I'd like to get Trent Peterson. That would be lovely if we can do that. That would be cool. So I'll offer him that. And trainer, you know the drill. We're getting this bloke here. And uh, there we are. So we're going to offer that. And we get those and him. So there we go. We're finished with that. Let's go to over to here. Uh, scouting. We need to change the draft class here because, you know, it doesn't load it, load it in because of the weird stuff. So there we go. That's the draft class that I use there, if you guys were wondering. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna, so now that we've got all that, just make sure, yep, cool, it is the right one. Uh, let's go down to the draft, NBA draft here. Um, I might, tr I'm gonna trade up for another pick, I think, because I do have assets, don't I? I do have, yeah, I do have assets to use to trade up. So I'm gonna use those and, um, try and get a better pick. So I'll see you guys, uh, when I have an, another pick, when I have a pick in the lottery, top five, hopefully. All right, here we are. So after the draft, we managed to get Jammer and Enzyme Williamson because we had the first, and, uh, second, and third pick, and they both fell to us. So we got both of those. And Caleb Martin, I'm gonna sign for a little bit as well. Team player options: Derek Favors. I am not accepting that. Car Corver, not doing that. Royce O'Neal, he's only making a minimum. I'm cool with that. And actually, Royce O'Neal, now I'm good. So I'm not gonna bring back any of those guys there because I am hoping that I can get a big time free agent here. Qualifying offers, we don't have any. So, let's just check out what we've got on the roster. So, we've got one, two, we need a small forward, three, four. So, we need a small forward or a power forward. So, hopefully, we can get one of these, either Jimmy, Durant, or Kawhi. I'm going to hopefully get Kawhi because defense is awesome. I'll give him player option and no trade calls. Hopefully, he'd like to come here, please. He does want to come to the Jazz, which is awesome. Uh, Durant, I'm not going to sign. Jimmy, I could possibly sign. But at the same time, it's like, I don't really need him. So I, I, then if I can, I'll also get Clay, I think. Mm, I think he would want too much money, I'm pretty sure. It's just over, just over the amount. So I probably won't be able to get Clay. Uh, yeah. So sadly, I'm not going to be able to get Clay Thompson, I don't feel. That's sad, because he would suit the system very nicely, because he does have nice defense. I'll offer him a deal. I'll offer him like a... Uh, deal just probably a lot less than he would be intending I guess be wanting I'm gonna offer him say that four-year player option I'll even give him no trade clause he's declined it anyway from us if I can okay fine I'll just offer him a bigger deal <laughs> I'll offer him a bigger deal why not he'll take that though so we get Kawhi we can't get clay sadly I mean what if we just renounce rights on all these guys can we get clay as well Please, that'd be awesome if we can get Clay. Oh, we can get both of them. That's dope. All right. So I hope that's all I'm going to do until the end of Mortatorium and free agency. So I'll see you guys with the roster after free agency. All righty. So this is the lineup that we've got after free agency. We've got Jar Morant. Oh, well, that's the wrong team. So we've got Jar Morant, Donovan Mitchell, Victor Oladipo, uh, Kawhi Leonard. Need to upgrade that backup small forward position. Power forwards, we've got Zion and Derek Favors. We also have Rudy Gobert and Brook Lopez at the center. So that's our roster that we've got. So let's simulate down to training camps here. I'll see you guys then. All righty. At training camps, we are now. So on tap potential, I'm going to send to huh, Victor Oladipo, I guess we could. Oh, by the way, I signed... um. Julius Rand to get Victor Oladipo, I signed Julius Randle and then traded him for Victor Oladipo. I think I had to give up a first as well. 
I'm not entirely sure, but I'm going to give it to Victor Oladipo here. And I'm also going to give it to Donovan Mitchell. Make him an A-plus as well. And also, who's the top one? Rudy Gobert, isn't it? Yeah, I'll give it to Rudy Gobert. Why the heck not make those guys all better? So let's simulate to the regular season here. Um, so I'm going to make moves. I probably should make some moves because we do need a, probably a better backup point. I was actually thinking, because we got Donovan Mitchell and Victor Oladipo, I was thinking of moving, uh, not moving, starting Vic Donovan Mitchell at the point for now. And yeah, it's Jamarant coming off of the bench. Uh, with, with Kawhi, we need to back up small forward. Uh, power forward, we are fine. And with center, we're fine. So we just need a backup small forward. So I'm going to do some of that and some trades. And I'll see you guys with the lineup. Alrighty guys, so this is the lineup that we are going with this season. We've got Donovan Mitchell as our starting point guard, Victor Oladipo, Kawhi Leonard, Zion Williamson, and Rudy Gobert. So defensively, it's going to be crazy good with Ja Morant coming off the bench with Derek Favors, Brooke Lopez, Monte Morris, and Joe Harris. So let's go. First scoring option is going to be Kawhi. Second is going to be Donovan. Yeah, I'm going to go Donovan Mitchell. And third is going to be Zion. Zion or, not, or Oladipo? Oladipo for this season, and if once Zion gets better, then we'll put him in there. But there we go. So there's all that. We're all good there. So system proficiency, we've got four stars of defense, and we're definitely going to keep it at defense. So that's what we're going to do. What's everyone like? So Donovan Mitchell doesn't like it. Zion will go boost up as he progresses, but everyone else is loving it. So we should surely be able to get up higher. So there we go. There's all that. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to simulate this season and I will see you guys. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to see where we're projected. That's, that's, that's right. So we are projected to be a third seed, um, eight seed or a third seed. So hopefully we are a good team in the NBA and I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right, so we finished with a 55-27 record. Steph Curry is our MVP, averaging 35 points. Bol Bol is our Rookie of the Year. Uh, Sergi Barker is sixth man. Giannis defensive. Montrez Harrell is most improved. And Brent Brown is coach of the year. So do we have any uh, Utah Jazz on any of these teams? That'd be cool if we can. We do get Kawhi. That's awesome. All defensive, we get Kawhi. Uh, and we get Victor Oladipo and Rudy Gobert. So we are very good defensively. Rookie to first team, we don't. We get Zion. And second team, we don't even get... Ja Morant, where are you at, man? Damn, Ja Morant. Okay. All right. But we are the first seed in the West. Uh, let's check out these stats then. Player stats. Uh, first scorer was Kawhi. Then Victor Oladipo. Donovan. Zion was there. That's awesome. Ja Morant. I don't know how he didn't make it. At least all rookie second team. But oh well. Rudy Gobert. Pulling down the double-double. He's mainly there for uh, defense, but that's what he's there for. Derek Favors, Brooke Lopez, Joe Harris, and Monte Morris. So there we go. There's all those stats there if you want to see. Pause the video if you want to see them more. Uh, team stats here. Points per game, we were first. Uh, defensively, we were second, which is... Uh, I would like to pride myself on defense, but it's all right. Seconds in the league is good, and differential will first. So hopefully we are able to... Uh, 
go to the finals this season. That'll be good, considering that we this is the first year of the rebuild. And we got New Orleans in the first round. We are simulating it. And if we don't get past the first round, that's going to be very upsetting. If we lose to AD in New Orleans... No, we don't. Okay, we do feel, pull through with those set last two games. We do have San Antonio in the second round. Winner of this versus either Houston or OKC. Hopefully, it's us <laughs> that we're that is versing them. So it's actually Houston that would be versing. So can we get through? Yes, we do. We win against San Antonio in seven. So we got Houston here in the Western Conference Finals. Let's check out what who they've got: Chris Paul, James Harden, Daniel House, Teletovic, and Clint Capella. Dion Waiters. Okay. Uh, Austin Rivers, D Gerald Green, Tyler Zeller, Derek Jones Jr. and BJ Tucker. So they've upgraded their power forward a little bit, I think you could say. Just just a little bit, just a smidge. But it's better than nothing. So let's take it game by game here in the West Finals. We do have home court because we are the first seed there, the two seed. But they do manage to steal one away from us, which is not good. Um, okay, so there we go. Okay, we're back, we're back, in, the, back in it now. 3-2 up. Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted. I want like this one, please. Because it's not the finals. And we do go to the finals after winning against Houston in 6. So we got Philadelphia in the finals. Let's check out their team. I'm pretty sure they've got... Yeah, they've still got Ben Simmons, Jimmy Butler, Tobias Harris, and Joel Embiid. They signed Thomas Bryant, Aaron Baines, Joffrey Levine, PJ Washington. So that's their team. Their team's pretty good, so hopefully we can beat them. I don't know if we can, because they are pretty stacked. And I'm pretty sure they do have home court, so... And they're 3-0 up, so they should be winning this. They do sweep us in the finals. Ben Simmons is the finals MVP, so let's advance here to the next season. So, there's not really much we can do except wait for our guys to progress. Maybe get, like, maybe re-sign Victor Oladipo. Are we able to do that? No, not yet. So, let's just sim down to the draft lottery, because I, I don't think we have a pick at all in this year's draft. Because I'm pretty sure we traded it. Yeah, we don't have a pick at all. So, there we go. So, we, there's everyone's pick. If you want to see, pause the video again, like a... Like usual, uh, let's go sim down to this draft here. But as we don't have a pick, I'm just going to go straight down to rookie signings. I think we might have a second. We might have a second. Nope. Okay, never mind. We don't have anything. So team player options, Donovan Mitchell and Monte Morris. We are definitely bringing back both of those guys. Um, uh, yeah, we don't need any of those. Qualifying offers, Jeremio Jones. If he wants to come back, nah. No, I'll just leave it out. Mortatorium. I don't think we really need any free agent. We don't have any free agent. Oh, we do. We need to get Joe Harris and Jeremy Jones. We don't really need Jeremy Jones, but I would like to bring Joe Harris back. If he'd like to come back, I would take him. Uh, yeah, we'll renounce rice on everyone, I guess. Just because we didn't want uh, Joe Harris. So we do get Joe Harris there. That's awesome. Um, let's go skip through the moratorium here so we can see how much money we have. So how much money? We do have a mid-level exception. What do we need? So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We really don't need anyone. Uh, is there anyone here on a mid-level that, that wants a mid-level that's actually kind of good? Um, no, not really. Like, Bobon's here. I'm just going to get Bobon for the bands. You know, it's just for banter. <laughs> so there we go. We get Bobon. So that's all we're going to do. Let's sim down to training camp. So I'll see you guys there. All right, here we go. So untapped potential. Let's check this all out. Um... I don't really know who I could give it to. We could probably give it... I'm going to give it to... I'm actually going to give it to Monte Morris here. Uh, I'm also going to give one to Joe Harris, should I? Wait, how old is everyone? So, Derek Favors is 29. Yeah, 29. So, not really worth it. Bobon's 32. Um, I'm going to give it to Donovan Mitchell because I really want him to be better. And untapped potential, I'm also going to send to... Yeah, screw it. Rudy Gobert because, you know, make him better again. So, there we go. Let's advance to next season. Yeah, sign those guys for us. So we do have a very good team. Like we could probably start. Mm. So can we do? We have a uh, contract extensions. Victor Oladipo would like to test test free agency. I'd love to keep him, but like, I'm not sure if he'll be nice on our team. Like John Morant doesn't like it, so I might actually trade John Morant. Alright, so I've done trades. I traded Victor Oladipo for Bradley Beal, and then I traded Bradley Beal for Mike Conley. Uh, so I've got Mike Conley as our starting point guard this season with Donovan Mitchell, Kawhi Leonard, Zion Williamson, Rudy Gobert as our starting five with Ja Morant, Derek Favors, Larry Nance, Monte Morris, and Joe Harris coming off the bench. So first scoring option, I'm actually going to reset these, and I'm going to give a first scoring option to, uh, I want to say Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, Donovan Mitchell, then... Kawhi and then Zion so that's those are the three there for this season so let's go down to proficiency Mike Conley is better than John Morant so like if I could I mm, 
So we've got four stars. Ooh, we could go balanced and it'll be four and a half. Balanced, yeah. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to change it to balanced here. So that's what we're going to do. And I was going to change... Uh, what was I going to change? I was, yeah, I was going to change... Um, Quinn Snyder's thingo, so I'm going to do that, and I'll see you guys at the end of next season. Alright, so we finished with 63 and 19 record. James Harden is the MVP. Brian Antonio, Rookie of the Year. Ja Morant is Sixth Man of the Year. Uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo is def uh, defensive, was it? Yeah, most approved is Markel, and Quinn Snyder, that's our guy, Coach of the Year. So do we have any jazz on any of these teams? We do get Kawhi Leonard, All-NBA second team, and we don't get anyone All-NBA third. We do get Kawhi on All-Defensive first. Oladipo, we did trade him away to the Wizards. Uh, all defensive second, we get Rudy Gobert, so that's awesome there. So we are first seed in the West. Let's check out these player stats here. Points per game, oh no, not points per game. Uh, I mean, technically, yeah. <laughs> Kawhi was the leading scorer with Donovan Mitchell's eye on. Uh, Mike Conley, John Morant, uh, Rudy Gobert, Derek Favors, uh, Darry Nance. Uh, yeah, so there you go. If you want to see them, pause the video. Uh, that'll be cool. Uh, so let's check out these team st stats here. So points per game, we were first. Defensively, we were first. Differential, we were first. Not even by a little bit. We were like five points higher than everyone else. So LA in the first round. Let's just simulate it, man. I'll check out the teams if we make it to the West Finals. Hopefully we are able to because that'd be cool if we can. We did finish with 63 wins, so we should be able to get to the final, uh, at least the West Finals. If we do, if we do, if we, I'm expecting us to win, but like every time I do expect us to win, uh, we're not gonna. We normally never win. <laughs> That's the thing. That's the thing, yeah, with 2K. You expect yourself to win, and when you do that, you lose, and you get super frustrated because you're not winning. So, yeah, we did beat the Pelicans in seven. So, we got OKC in the Western Conference Finals. They got Russell Westbrook, Dwayne Wade, Paul George, Paul Millsap, Jonas Valanciunas, Marcus Sol. They got really good. They traded away Stephen Adams. They got Valanciunas and Paul Millsap. Damn. Alright, this actually could be a bit hard series to win. I mean, they are the two, three seed. They're the three seed, so we, they did manage to steal one from us. Oh, man. If we lose in the West Finals, I'm going to be uh, kind of upset. Because, like I said, I expected us to win. And if we don't, then... No, we got no mind. So we do make it to the Finals against Philadelphia again. So they got Ben Simmons, Butler, Harris, Joel Embiid, Hassan Whiteside. Alright. But that's their team there. So hopefully we can beat them this year. This year we get a redemption. Maybe sweep them back. No, never mind. That that wasn't happening. That was not happening. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can win here. Oh, we're three two up, and we are the champions. That's the way. Kawhi Leonard is Finals MVP. So we got another season coming up here. So that's awesome. I did expect us to win, and we won. That's awesome there. Uh, Mike Connolly. I'm not sure if I want to. Like, I'd want to start Ja Morant, but at the same time, Mike Connolly is a 90 overall now. Yeah, he is a 90 overall, but I want to start Ja just because... I mean, he says he's an offensive superstar. Oh, no, I'll keep Mike Connolly because he's got more badges and stuff, so i keep him there. Uh, Zion, what are you doing uh, over here? Defense, oh, yeah, you're progressing nicely over here as well. So that's awesome. Those two are progressing very, very good for us. It was crazy that we managed to get both of those guys in uh, this same season. So that's what all we're going to do. So I'm going to do all this, and I'll see you guys at the lineup. <laughs> all right, so we have set up this lineup. So I'm actually going to start Ja Morant this season. So Ja Morant, Donovan Mitchell, Kawhi Leonard, Zion Williamson, and Rudy Gobert. So all of the, everyone is a 90 overall, which is awesome. So then we got Mike Conley coming off the bench with Miles Turner. We actually got the seventh pick in the draft, and I managed to trade uh, Larry Nance Jr. and the seventh pick for Miles Turner, which I was like, yeah, why not? It would just give my bench more depth. And we got Derek Favors, Monte Morris, and I was thinking about giving Joe Harris minutes, but it just didn't have enough minutes to go around for everyone, so I didn't give him any. So first scoring option, I'm going to say... I want to say Kawhi... Yeah, he's earned it. I'll give it to Kawhi, and then I'll give it to Jim Morant, and then I'll give it to Mitchell. Yeah, so there we go. So those are those the guys there. So let's go to the system proficiency. Do we have anything that's over? No. So we're going to stick with balanced again, because that seemed to work, work out for us last season. So there we go. We're going to keep there, and I'm going to simulate the season. And I, I don't know. We need to check where we're uh, projected to be, because hopefully we're projected to go number one. We're number three, number seven, and number three. So apparently we're not going to be too good, but... Well, it's made us three seed. But I'll see you guys at the end of this season with the awards.
Okay, so we actually tie, uh, not, yeah, we actually do tie the NBA record for most wins in a season. James Harden is MVP, Jalen Green, rookie of the year. I don't know who that is. Six man, Giannis is defensive. Ja Morant is most improved and coach of the year goes to our kick, Nick Nurse. So do we have any Utah Jazz on any of these teams? Uh, we actually don't. What the heck? Oh no, that's all rookie team. So all, all NBA first. We get Kawhi, all NBA second, all NBA third. We don't get anyway, anyone. Defensive, we do get Kawhi. And second, we get Rudy Gobert. For all rookie, we don't have any rookies, do we? Nah, we traded away our pick. So we are definitely, without a doubt, the one seed in the West. So player stats, let's check these ones out. Kawhi is our leading scorer with Ja Morant, Donovan Mitchell, Zion Williamson, Mike Conley, Rudy Gobert, Miles Turner, Derek Favors, Monte Morris. Joe Harris, sadly, wasn't able to fit onto our rotation. So team stats here. Points per game, surely we're number one. Yes, we are. Point Defensively, we're number one again. Differential, we were number one. So we were number one all round. We fi finished with a 73 and 9 record. I swear, if if we don't win this championship with a 73 and 9 record, it's going to be mad sad. We almost did beat it, but we lost in the like third to last game in of the season to like, you know, lose. But we lose one game. Damn, I was hoping we could sweep all the way through the finals. But we do lose one game to Golden State. So yeah, we basically we lost to Washington in like the third to last game which is sad because like you know it would be nice to break the record but you know can't get what you want so we do have houston in the second round i'm pretty sure they're still the uh, in the fi western final sorry i'm pretty sure they're still the same team yeah they're still the same team so we should be able to get them i'm not even going to take a game by game considering our record we should be able to beat them like seriously we should be able to but apparently not apparently not we can't just sweep on you're kidding you're kidding what the hell 2k we finish with twenty with a seventy-three and nine record, and we lose in the Western Conference Finals. What? James Harden can't shoot for get 49, 48 points. Did you see him the other night? He didn't even shoot, make a free, uh, make a field goal. We had one, two, three, four, five, six. We had six ninety overalls with Miles Turner, Derek Favors, and Monte Morris. We almost had our entire rotation as 90 overalls. Anyway, guys, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to smash the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new and want to see more. It'll help me out a lot. I appreciate you if you guys could do that. And anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video.